Hey, 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 this is BA, and welcome to WDGAN Math Basics Part 4. If you haven't seen Parts 1, 2, and 3, you probably should because they develop a good lead in to this particular video. Let's get started. This is uh, WDGAN's coffee letter. You can get it free on my site, uh, GAN Trade 6, that's the number 6.com, and uh, download it there or uh, just. If, if this is okay, just watch this. Uh, we already did these areas up here. We're going to start uh, today on this video on uh, heliocentric Saturn and work our way down. Again, April 16, 1931 to March 19, 1954, Saturn moved 287 degrees, 15 minutes, which equaled 8,632 BA. 287.25 times 30 equals 8,617, not 8,632. Note that 287.35 was opposing heliocentric Uranus. So Saturn's total movement was squaring out with transiting Uranus. And that's a very unique concept. What we've done here is we've taken the, um, the 287.25, okay, and We've looked at it on the, uh, and we, we take that and put it on the Zodiac, and it comes out to about s just below 17 and a half Capricorn. And if you look on March 19, 1954, you'll see that that position is opposed by transiting Uranus. So price, or that particular distance traveled, I should say, was squaring out with Uranus, a very unique concept. Gan, October 1, 1936 to March 19, 1954, Saturn moved 225 degrees, which gives a price of 7,150. BA, 225 times 30 equals 6,750, not 7,150. Note, Gan is off by 400. Note we are not adding this to the lows like we did early on in the coffee letter. These are called zero angles because they start at zero on the date of the high or low and work their way up. Now, what do I mean by zero angles? Well, basically, if you take, um, like remember that in the earlier videos, he was talking about that low that occurred at 300. Well, if you take that low and you put it on a chart and you, you put a, point at, at the low on that day at 300 on the chart you, you can start your angle from there okay and that's what he was doing earlier on uh here he's not using the low so what he's doing is he's using what's called zero angles he's not adding anything in and we can tell that by the math what a zero angle is 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 let's say that on that date that the low was 300 we go instead of uh putting a point on the low we go all the way down to zero on that day and put a point down there from at the bottom of the chart and it starts working its way up as time goes on you see and that's called a zero angle because it's anchored at zero again may 15 1940 saturn gained 179 degrees 44 minutes a price of 5940 ba 179.75 times 30 equals 5,392.5, not 5,940, okay? August 19, again, August 19, 1940, Saturn gained 176 degrees, 14 minutes. BA, 176.23 times 30 equals 5,286.9, not 5,842. You know, a question can be asked is, why are we using 30 here? Well, uh, if you've gone back and you've seen the earlier videos, you'll know that 30, uh, 30, ah, it's late in the day. 30 is the cycle of, uh, or the scale of Saturn. Okay, 30 is the scale of Saturn. So, we're in that area, and he keeps mentioning Saturn, and so we use that 30 scale, okay? But in, now see, here's the deal. In the original, I mean, I, when I went back and stuff, he never mentions the scale of 30 in that letter, 
Okay. Let's take another look at the coffee letter to see the area where he averages the planet's longitude. And this is going to be important. Okay, we did this area heliocentric Saturn. And that's why we were using the scale of 30. Now we've moved back or we've moved down to heliocentric planets. He says the average of these six planets. Well, wait a minute again. There's only three here. Well, the other three are down here on the other page. Okay. And he says the average of these six geocentric planets is a whole nother thing. Okay. So uh, we're going to take a look at what he really means by this. Okay, he's got Jupiter at 89.5, Saturn at 214.44, Uranus at 111.52, Neptune at 204.35, Pluto at 144, and Mars at 221. The heliocentric average is 164.13. What you do is you, you take them, all six of them, you add them up, and then you divide by six. That will give you the average. But doing this to these six planets does little, okay? It doesn't exactly work too well. You want a better tool, okay? You want a better tool. The real formula is the circle of eight average, circle of eight average that Gan mentions at the bottom of the coffee letter. Let's take a look at the math. Well, we'll take a look at the math in just a second. Let's go back and look at the coffee letter again to see where this. Okay, this is the one we were doing up here. Going down here and right here. This is what he says about it. You will later receive the very important CE average, which is circle of eight average in the MOF formula which is only taught to students who have taken the same course as you have. And we do not reveal it to the students who have taken the minor courses and pay less money, AKA the peasants. <laughs> I'm kidding. You. All right. And so here we can see how important the circle of eight average is. Well, he doesn't give it in here. What he does up here is he, he wants you to get or he spawn. He's wanting spawn to get used to uh, averaging the planets together. Okay. Now let's go back and take a look at that CE8 average. Okay. The real formula is a circle of eight average that Gann mentions at the bottom. We just took a look at that. Okay. We're going to go see the math. Okay. 18, these are uh, the six I called off on that day, plus Mercury, which is at 226, and Venus, which is at 27. We simply add them up and divide by eight, and we get an average of 154.72. Start plotting this average in uh, in your forex market, and and see what happens when price gets around it. Okay, uh, a very important exercise. Note here that Earth is left out. Okay, there's it's. Uh, I know nowadays they teach that there's only eight planets in the solar system. Well, Gan included Pluto. Uh, because it was a planet, but it got demoted to a uh, not planet. Well, anyway, we're using it as a planet, okay? Uh, so we leave Earth out of the equation, and that's how you wind up with the 8. All right? Very important concept there. This is, this is what he was really getting at when he says just add these six planets together. Okay? If you've gained insight from my video, subscribe so you can get the latest on my free market calls, forecasts, commentary, and teachings. Knowledge is priceless. Hey, this is BA reminding you that you can succeed. Have a good one. Bye-bye.